All right, today we're gonna be getting into it. I'm gonna show you how to make an amazing Power BI resume in three steps. I am so psyched about it. You gotta check this out. Hey man, if you're just chilling, trying to figure out some stuff about Power BI, well man, I got the right channel for you. This is the stuff, like it, subscribe, you know, turn on the alarm bell. You know, come back. Don't miss any of the future videos. This is the place to be. It's all good, man. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is all good. Ah. Ah. All right. So enough of that mumbo jumbo, all that stuff. We want to create a resume that's just going to knock people's socks off. Okay. Uh, we want you know to showcase that you know how to work with Power BI and you know that Power BI is more than just you know data visualizations that you can do some more advanced stuff with. It. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna do it in three steps. Let's let's have my desktop and let's try it out. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is we're not gonna start in Power BI. I know this is where you think you'd want to start. We're not starting there. We're gonna head over to KratosBI.com and we're gonna to go to this menu here. And in our menu, we've got the Power BI portfolio, okay? So this is a, a, a number of assets that I've, I have out there that can give you videos and all sorts of stuff to get you up and running with Power BI. Bunch of different examples of content, but the, the latest one that's out there, uh, if you're watching this recently, you know, you're gonna go out there, it's gonna be at the top. Uh, who knows if you come into this in a year or two from now, maybe this will be further around, but it will be out on the portfolio page out here, I have my re my resume that I have done up inside of Power BI, and I've made it for you, available for you, so you can not just interact with it um, on the resume. So it's not just a, a screenshot, but it's something you can actually interact with. You know, you can you can go, you can see. You know, it's just like a Power BI report. You can interact with it, all of that good stuff. You know, you can page to different spots, and you can see that it's out there. Now, this is my resume. I'm making all these assets available for you as well so that you can create your own resume. All you have to do is go ahead and click on this resume assets. It's going to download this uh, a zip file. Inside of that zip file is going to be uh, the, the following items. Let's zoom in so you can see this. We're going to have the embedded image. We're going to come back to that in a second. We're going to have the page one background, page two background. Uh, the PowerPoint uh, that was used to create the backgrounds, as well as the resume. Okay, so step one is head over to kratosbi.com and download the resume assets and start to review them. Okay, so I'm going to quick pull up the uh, the PowerPoint. So this is the PowerPoint that I've used to put a lot of the structure and form to data that you saw inside of um uh, inside of the resume, this is formatted to be, you know, printable, you know, in legal size, or I'm sorry, in letterhead size. So you can just go ahead and use this. You can publish this, print this off really nicely. Um, uh, make sure you go in and edit this, change your picture, you know, change whatever uh, items that you have, you know, adjust this as you would. But I've got two pages, page one, page two. Uh, make sure when you go in and after your edits, you select your items, control A, right click and then save as picture and that's going to be your page one and page two backgrounds okay next next big thing we're going to do and this is step two it's it's all about editing the resume to make it uh, uh appropriate for you okay so we, we've edited the powerpoint we're going to go over to the power bi file inside of here there's all sorts of information that you're going to go ahead and go in and edit yourself now, you would think some of the stuff would be text, but no, most of the stuff is available. It is just inside of, uh, it's inside of Power BI. This is data that's been, uh, in most cases, manually keyed in. You want to do something more than that? Hey, awesome, great. Manually, you know, go do something more than just manually keying this stuff. But head in, go over to your transform data. And make the proper uh, proper adjustments to each one of these things, making sure that you you know you change the name and address, significant accomplishments, all that good stuff. You make your adjustments there. Big one here. Make sure you spend a little bit of time going through these uh, technical capabilities, making sure that you, you you've you've appropriately uh, identified each one of these and ranked yourself appropriately. Okay. Um, I don't want to see people with all my resumes out there. I mean, I probably will, but. Uh, hey, uh, this is my resume. Uh, recruiters, be aware. <laughs> um, 
But once you've got this all done, I I'm going to leave it to you to edit this and, and uh, make this appropriately. I want you to uh, step three is you need to publish this and you need to make this available for people to consume and use. Okay. So this is going to require that you have a Power BI Pro account. So you're going to need to be able to, or Pro account and that you have some places to uh, a test tenant that you're going to ha have available so that you can create stuff. Now, this may seem like a, a little bit like, hey, I don't have this. I do it at work. Well, you know what? Um, Maybe you need to have something that you have available for your, your professional stuff. If you're a pro in Power BI, this might, this is an investment I'd highly recommend you, you making. I know I've invested in multiple PPU licenses because I like to test stuff out myself and I don't necessarily get those for free, but it's a, you know, that investment is a huge way to learn more about your craft and do more than that, right? Like you think you do a lot in Netflix? Well, uh, no more Netflix and chill. How about some, you know, Power BI and I don't know. I'm not good at alliteration, but go, go over to Power BI. Spend your time with some data, okay? Um, all right, and to do that, let me show you how, how, you, how you're going to do this, okay? So, so first things first, you need to head over to Power BI. You're going to log in. This, you, you know, it's going to look something along these lines. Um, but in your test tenant, you're going to need to make sure you head over to, uh, oh, I guess I... Didn't save it. Okay, good deal. Uh, you're going to head into your uh, admin settings. So I'm going to go over here to my admin portal. Let me zoom in so you can see this. Admin portal. Click on that. And I'm going to search for uh, publish. Okay. What I'm looking for is publish to web. I need to make sure that it is enabled for the entire company and so that I can publish to it. Okay. Now let me scroll in so you can see this really well. Okay. So publish to web. What this does is this is going to allow you to publish your Power BI resume or any Power BI report. So it's external facing so that other people can get access to it. Okay. Now, a lot of companies, this is your first thing that you turn off for you and for your test uh, tenant that you're using for your personal space. Um, don't turn this off. You're going to need this. This is going to be super important. Okay. Uh, so you want to make sure that that's turned on and you're ready to go. Okay. Next thing uh, I, I really recommend is create a workspace of content that you are sharing to the web. The reason you want to do that is um, you want to be aware of what you're sharing externally to people uh, so that you don't accidentally, if you go to the point where you're using Power BI to do some finance work or something, you, maybe you start a future business and you, uh, you have some revenue numbers and some stuff, you don't accidentally publish that to the web. Ask me how I know. No, seriously. Ask me how I know. <laughs> um, but no, you, you want to be careful with that. But um, plus, it's a good management practice. And if someone asks you, like, wow, this is really cool. Can you show me how you can do this? It shows them that you have good mastery over the Power BI service as well. So uh, once you've published the report or you've verified that you have uh, a published web setup, you've verified that you've created a workspace for uh, publishing content, you're going to head over to head back to Power BI, you're going to publish this into the workspace, okay? Once this is published out, you're going to head over to your Power BI resume. And here, this is key. Uh, make sure that you go to uh, X, oh wait, no, file, embed report, and publish to web public, okay? Now, let's see if I can gear in on this, okay? So this is really the key. So you have to do the file, embed report and then publish to a public. Okay. Now a couple things on this, if you haven't played with this before, I highly recommend you do so. Okay. So you can publish content into SharePoint online. So if let's say you work in a team and you want to publish stuff out there, you can publish it straight into that team. So you have an easy place for people to share and access uh, your Power BI content. Um, you can also publish to a website or portal. This is going to be for, for people who are publishing most likely internal information, but maybe external information. Just be careful that uh, what you're publishing doesn't have anything that's sensitive in it. And then the final one is that publish to web public. This is the one that we're talking about for this exercise is make sure that you're publishing it out uh, so that people can consume it. Okay. And you, you'll be able to, you know, uh, consume it uh, out on different websites. And we're going to be getting uh, to that last little, uh, that first image that I showed you or first image I talked about. 
And then the last one is the developer playground. This allows you to see what it's like to embed your Power BI reports inside of an app. So if you did want to come back and ever build out a website or portal for customers to interact with, with reports or data, um, you can kind of play with it super easy. This is, this is fantastic. Makes it much easier for you to test this stuff out. Okay. So when I click on publish to web, uh, it's going to prompt me with, with the screen here that I'm going to, uh, you know, it's going to give me what, what code I can send an email, what HTML I can paste into a website, and I can choose what size I want that content to come across as. Now, oh, let me move this just a little bit so you can see this. Now, there's another feature here that we need to make sure that we've done, which is what placeholder image do you want to appear on websites before they interact with it? And that's that first image where I said, hey, take a screenshot of your resume. So, you know, once it's published and you're ready to go, you can make that accessible. That screenshot is what you're going to upload into this. And let's head back over to my power, uh, to my website. Now, in this case, I've already clicked on this, but let me hit refresh. Now, my Power BI report's not going to be interactive right now. You, you know, you can see that it's, it's not, I'm not hi highlighting anything. In fact, you can see... You can't see now. Oh, come on now. You can see there. there's this interact view interactive content. If you have not, if you don't have like an image put on here, it actually just looks like a Power BI, like the, I think it's like a Power BI icon or something like that. I, f I forget. Like make sure, just make sure you put an image on there so that it's, it's got something to present so people can look at it and then know what it's supposed to look like. All right. Now, I've, I've got some artifacting here because I honestly, oh, because my website's it's just something I, I, I do for fun. But, um, uh, you know, you saw it before. But that image is super important because that image, which is a screenshot of, of your resume, is what you'd use right here. Okay. So, um, where did it go? How did I close it? Here we are. Okay. Um, once you've done that, uh, once you've done that, come on now, you, you're all set to go. You can close out. Th make sure you save these links. These are the links that you'll be using to either email to someone or embed inside your website. Okay. Now, that's a, a, a real quick down and er dirty three steps to creating your own Power BI resume and sharing that with, with people online uh, so that you can land yourself that Power BI job, all right? I've got a whole bunch of resources out there. Please let me know what you think. I want to hear from you. And hey, you know, the reason we're here is to try and help everyone be more successful. I want you to be successful. Well, I want to be successful. but So let's help each other out. If you have any questions, comments, uh, things you want to see changed about the template, ideas for how to enhance it, make it easier, better, faster, stronger, all that good stuff. Why don't you leave those comments down below? Want to hear from you guys. Uh, heck, give this thing a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel because if you're this far in, like I got a feeling we have a lot in common. All right. Um, if you want to support the channel over at CarosBI.com, I still do have um, the buy me coffee if you buy me a coffee, I do have a whole bunch of like stickers and stuff that I, I still got around uh, for Power BI. So I uh, really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Make sure to take care of each other. This is a crazy world. We got to be out there fighting for each other. You guys have a great day. Peace. Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced technical expertise to uncover and solve your digital transformation challenges. If you're interested in learning more, check out our website at bakertilly.com digital.